So when it comes to live streams, it's a little bit tricky to set up because something always goes wrong. But luckily, managed to pull it back together at the last second. How are we all? It's been a couple of months. A lot has happened since then. We've got a lot to cover. I feel like I've grown as a person. I've probably retracted as a person as well, but how are we all? Some girl that I work with didn't know who Nigel Farage was. I was in the office today and it's, uh, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Nigel Farage is on it. Obviously we all know who Nigel Farage is, but someone I work with, she was watching it and she, and she, she, she asked, she said to someone else who was sat opposite me, she said, which one was Nigel Farage? And like, this girl's probably, she's got a kid, she's probably like 29, 30, similar age to myself. Yeah, she didn't know who Nigel Farage was, and I just I just found that, like, astounding. It just doesn't, it just doesn't make any sense. Granted, there's probably like seven or eight people that I don't know in the jungle that she does, so she's probably sat there saying, oh, you don't know Steve, you don't know Steve. Yeah, she didn't know who Nigel Farage was, and it is 2023. Brexit was 2016. She was alive during Brexit. I'm sure she had one of those, one of those opinions on Facebook. Got, uh, Peter Park. It's been like six months and I'm still, still saying Peter Park. Parkington, but no, it's Peter Partington, and I will pronounce that. I will give you the respect of the pronunciation. Do I think that Nigel Farage is a grifter? Uh, my vote is for Farage. You know what? I'm actually going to download. I'm not going to watch any of it, but right now I'm going to download. Is it the I'm a celebrity app? Because you can vote for free, and you know what? To cause a scene, I'm just going to download it now on my phone. I am actually going to vote for Nigel Farage. Um, I don't know when they do the voting or anything like that, so I'm going to have to figure something out. But yeah, I'm going to vote for Farage every uh, every time. He seems a bit, I must admit, he does seem a little bit of a grifter. I must admit. Because what got me was when he's suing Coots and Nat West for damages, I don't know what to, what damages he's talking about. The guy came out of that with the like invaluable um, levels of advertising for uh, the Nigel Farage brand, if that's... If, if that makes sense, like he, the advertiser, like he came off as uh, as good from that uh, Nat West scandal. So I don't know what damages he's suing for, but nah, he might as well. Um, he's well within his right. Dam so Happy Mushroom put damages to reputation because he may be seen in a lighter light. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, there are going to be some people that came out of that thinking that Nigel Farage actually ended up worse off, come out thinking that oh, he's criminal and you know, things like that. So yeah, you're right, actually. There, there is probably some damages to recover. And if it was me, like, oh, I'd be going in there with bruises. I'd be going into that courtroom with ketchup on my head saying it's blood. Um, saying that West, you know, they've done all sorts and uh, I, I need I need my millions. Why do I upload my videos at a certain time? If you ever wanted to know why I do my videos at 7-Eleven, I asked Paz49 once what time he found best because he's, he's a veteran uh, of YouTube and many other things. So I asked Paz what time he found best to upload and he said 7. And I thought, I can't go at 7.01. <laughs> So, <laughs> and I think his video on that day was something like nine minutes long. So I thought, all right, I'll do 7 Eleven um, and we'll keep it that way. Uh, but that's why I do 7 Eleven. I got a parking fine, but I'm not willing to accept it. I got a parking fine the other day. I've had like one parking fine before, but I didn't dispute it. This was a couple of years ago. I was probably like 18, 19 at the time. I was driving past, it was either Audi or Lidl. I've lost all my engine power, right? I still had my trusty momentum, so I was still going forward, but I had lost all engine power, right? And it was just me in the car, so I had lost power steering, engine power and everything like that. I'm thinking, oh crap, right, it's just me in the car. And I'm on my way to work, so like, usually I work from home, but they were like, oh, you've got to come into the office. So already I'm on the back foot, because I've got to go in and I've got to be around humans, right? And I was able to go into Audi or Lidl, and it was the world's best breakdown. It was... The there has not been a car breakdown that's been better than this. I must have pulled into Audi or Lidl and I, I just looked like a genuine customer. They didn't know that I had no power steering or no engine power. Uh, luckily, I had a um, breakdown cover with my uh, insurance, which I'd always recommend because it is very cheap. They came out, got the car started again. About a week later, I got a parking fine because I was parked, parked in Audi and Lidl car park for like more than the 70 minutes that they give you. Usually I wouldn't dispute it, but I thought to myself, not gonna let them have this one. So I've disputed it. And um, I'd like to know your guys' opinion, how that's gonna come back. Cause 
I want to keep the discount. Apparently, if you um, lose the dispute, they still offer you the discount, which is which is quite which is quite handy. It is a bit of a hassle, but luckily I had like screenshots from the breakdown cover and a, a picture of my car there. So if it comes back, I'd be absolutely raging. If it comes back that I got a parking ticket being broken down in Audi car park, and it was such a good breakdown, it cost me like two hundred eighty quid. It was the alternator belt, so the battery when you drive a car, the battery weren't charging. Anyway, I'd be. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated on that one. I will be furious if that comes back. And I got it's 70 quid, but I get a discount for 40 quid if I pay it soon. But it says dispute it. The one underneath. You can't part there, mate. I'm glad someone said it. I'm glad someone said it. Someone always has to say that. That's a typical English thing. So Sun put how is parking in Audi car park worth 70 pounds for an hour or two? A hundred percent. A hundred I was I was livid. I mean, because the breakdown van was literally behind me. They could see on the camera that I was broken down, but, you know. So if, if that comes back as I lost that dispute, one, I'll be furious, but two, I'll let you guys know. What do I think about Wales collapsing? Troublemaker, 11-11, but we are getting smashed in Wales by these lunatics. It does seem that way. It does seem that way. I've got a mate in construction and he does a lot of travelling to Wales. And um, yeah, he says it's proper annoying, with, uh, especially with the 20s, the uh, 20 mile an hour zones. It's um, just driving at 20. Like if you, if no one here has had to drive through the 20 mile an hour zone, I would highly recommend to just next time you're out in the car, make sure you're not got anyone behind you because it's pro it proper annoying. But um, yeah, just drive at 20 it takes forever are audi and lidl far too fast i stopped go so retro girl put i stopped to go into audi due to their bag search policy can't trust us at checkout then bring the humans back i i completely agree i completely agree i haven't been searched there yet will be i don't really go there too often because i just find it too quick i just find it unnaturally fast unnecessarily fast and the way that they throw your items at you and they put them on basically the size of a coaster and then they expect you to use that like ball of shame at the back to go and put your shopping on because you weren't quite a, like quite quick enough and i'm i'm like I, you know I'm, I'm a fit and healthy you know person i've i'm always chasing after my two kids when they're not chasing after me i work out every single day I cannot keep up with Audi. I keep asking my dad, I'm like, what's your system? I just, I can't get around it. One, one, one of the guys in the comments on the Audi video, I, I wish I could elevate to this level. And I will get to your comment in a minute, Retro Girl. I've gone off on a tangent here. One of you guys' comments was saying that I need to pr I need to load the conveyor belt in bagging order. I just don't think I've, uh, don't think I'm there yet. The bag search policy. And you're right, there's no trust on those self-service checkouts. They just don't trust you at all. Yeah. IDs, everything. You want to buy super glue, energy drink, like, you know, a plastic spoon. And they're like, <sighs> doing that plastic spoon, mate. We're doing that plastic spoon, mate. Paranormal Channel X. Does Audi still have you pack your own bags? Well, they, they to be fair, they could go the extra mile and pack them for you. Because I would like to see them put up with the speed that they have the customers do. I don't think they could keep up with the speed. I was watching a, um, well, I was about to go on off a tangent. And then I saw that Spudcat saying, oh, wait, he's coming out with some controversial statements here. Jesus Christ. I thought I was the controversial one. Spudcat here, Audi's not fast. In fact, I think they're slow. That swiveling bloke is, is that what it says? That swiveling, I can't maximize it. I think it says I'm talking rubbish. I guess I could be, it's too quick. It's too quick. If you think it's slow, I, we need to go. We need to go to Audi and you need to show me your system. If you think Audi and Lidl are too slow, honestly, we need to go. How hyped am I for Grand Theft Auto? Muscados, Vice City. That, can I make that bigger? Not without, I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now, I am hyped. I am hyped. I've got my kids hyped for GTA. They're, they're seven and nine. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. But they're seven and I am so hyped for the next GTA. I've been hyped for year on year one, year two, all the way through year two. I cannot wait. I, I, I hope. I hope. Nah, I ain't going to get into the tangent. We'll get into the Rockstar tangent. I'll be here for an hour and a half. Maybe I'll do a Rockstar live stream one day. Why do all of my videos look very colourful? I'm orange. It. I got. I like the saturation. I turn the saturation up massively on all my videos. I think we just see bright colours and we just think, wow. Uh, so that's why. But the tan, the, it, the tan does you well. The tan does you well. How does my audio sound so clean?
I probably mispronounced something in there. I'm always mispronouncing stuff. You guys should hear the uh, the original audio of the edit before I've taken out the stumblings, the mumblings, kids in the background. The audio sounds great. Uh, George George, uh, great vids. I do appreciate that. I basically just make the videos that I thought were missing and that I would want to watch. Yeah, it seems to be going well. You guys are enjoying it almost as much as I am. Why am I only doing this live for 30 minutes? We're only doing it for half an hour today, and there's a reason for that. It's not a very good reason, but basically I believe that less is more. Uh, I did a live stream a couple months ago that was like two hours long, and I remember thinking to myself, like, like I really like me. You know, I'm, I'm my favorite person, but would I watch a two-hour live stream of me? Probably not. How do I deal with negative comments? I can't believe that you shadow ban me. I don't have the power to shadow ban. You can stop people from commenting, but you you you, you did comment. And I'd never stop anyone from commenting because one, I don't, I don't really get any negative comments. And two, if, if I did get negative comments, you'd probably well would be, you'd be well within your reason. I think I'd be due a negative comment or two, the, you know, the amount of stuff I've said over the last year. Is posting to Twitter actually worth it? Keep posting your videos on X and I'll keep reposting them. I appreciate that. I always, I do often wonder to myself if it is um, worthwhile posting on the other platforms. But no, I appreciate that. It's um, very difficult to grow on some of those platforms. Someone like Lawrence Fox. Yeah, someone like Lawrence Fox and Katie Hopkins can just post like, today is a good day to not like being woke. And they'll get like quarter of a million views, 10,000 retweets. And it's like, are you even are you even passionate or are you just pushing tweets out for the sake of tweets? It's very hard to grow on those platforms. It's um the stuff that stuff that grows don't really uh don't really make much sense. So uh, Peter Partington, both great people, Katie and Lawrence. Yeah, no, nah, they are good. Uh, I prefer Katie over to Lawrence, but no, they are good. But the point that I was trying to make is that they can just they can just tweet anything, and it just it just gains traction. I just think it's only a matter of time because. I just, I can't wait until 100,000 people can wake up every morning and just see that Sadiq Khan has spent 62 million pounds on diversity. I think that would be, I think we can actually genuinely, uh, genuinely make change. And here's just some general ramblings. Yeah, a lot's escalated and a lot's happened with the, uh, with the channel. I just want to, just want to say thank you as well for watching, liking, sharing, clicking on end screens, commenting. Some of your comments are hilarious. I try and sort of, uh, at least look at them all, whether or not I can sort of like them or heart them and also reply back. Some of them are just too good to reply back to, if you know what I mean. They're too, um, too edgy. So, uh, I do appreciate everything and I appreciate all your support. I'm working, uh, till about 11 o'clock every single night and I'm putting more work into this, uh, than ever before so you can rest assured that I'm, I'm here. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd be like Trump. I'd, I'd do this from jail. I don't care. I'm here. Uh, so thank you very much and have a good evening and thank you.